Thank you very much. Am I talking to you? You're talking to me. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. Who are you or what do you do? I'm Darren Kennedy. I'm a TV presenter and I'm a stylist. I do it because I love it. This is it. This is what I wear. Um, and this is actually probably my most subdued outfit of the past few days, actually. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I just like to mix it up. I like to feel good about myself. I like to wear nice clothes that fit well. Um, talk us through um, your style. Why do you do what you do? Yeah, I guess for me, my style is all about just be feeling comfortable and uh, feeling happy about how I look. So I tend to go for kind of like quite sharp tailoring and then I like to give it a little bit of a twist. So that's kind of like the leopard print desert boot today, kind of just to shake things up. My suit is uh, by Reese. Uh, bow tie is Lanvin, Mr. Porter, aptly. And uh, yeah, and just a, like an acne shirt and just, you know, so it's kind of mixing a very classic tailored piece with something a little bit more contemporary. I think the most important thing is that you're comfortable in it and that you feel good about what you're wearing and that's the most important thing. Um, just try would be my would be my advice, you know, don't be afraid of it either. But like don't it you know, it, it's not life or death. And it's not the most important thing in the world. But it can make you feel good. Brilliant. Um, a high percentage of women judge a man who's like a standing, he's confident, he's really good, he's a Yeah. Design the confidence. Confident man means to me a man who's comfortable in his own skin and if he's wearing a three-piece suit or a pair of swimming shorts that he owns it. <laughs> what are a couple of key pieces in the wardrobe for the guys You should have at least one suit that fits you like a glove. Um, a classic crisp white shirt, um, good fitting pair of jeans and then a pair of shoes, be they a loafer, a brogue or something that you're going to get good wear out of for the dressier occasions and then those occasions where you want to be a little bit more cash. So talk us through where you're at in your career, what you wear. Okay, um, well right now I work um, in, with ITV on, in, in the UK and I also, as you might have gathered from my accent, I'm Irish. So I work in Ireland, <laughs> so I, I make documentaries and then I write columns for different people and I write about fashion and I talk about fashion and I just kind of talk about what I do really. London Collection, it's the third one. For me, it's the biggest one. Yeah. Well, you know what? This is the third London Collections Men, and it's my third London Collections Men, and I've really seen it grow. But what I love about it, because I go to obviously Women's Fashion Week, I love the vibe, and I love the relaxed vibe. Like it is very relaxed, very friendly. Burberry today was an absolute highlight. This, what a respect. Seriously, a uh, major coup. Um, the setting was phenomenal. It was you in Kensington Gardens. I was there. Yeah, I was there, and uh, it was just, it was fantastic. Fantastically fabulous. Talk us through the atmosphere. We were watching on the lives. <coughs> Were you? Yeah. And it was intense. Yeah, it was actually it was actually quite relaxed. I mean, everyone arrived in, and we were kind of uh, channeled up into. Well, well, I didn't know where we we're going, and then we arrived at like a field, basically, and they built like a, basically it's like a structure, it's not like a store structure outside. It had a perspex clear roof. The music was incredible, so much so that I kept thinking there was a live band somewhere, but there wasn't. That and uh, just literally, I'd say there was five or six hundred people there. It was a busy show. Um, you had the likes of Serena Williams, who's in the front row, um, David Gandhi, obviously, Teeny Tempa. Yeah, they were all there. Brilliant. Um, what can I say? We're loving your look, and um, we'll see you again in January. Thank you. Absolutely.